All right, let's work some examples here. Double angle identities. So all of these, I'm going to do, f uh, I think, three of them here. Um, we're finding exact values, and we're going to do it using the double angle identities. So let's start with our first one here. So we want to find the exact value of 2 times the cosine squared of 75 degrees minus 1. So when you do these problems, you first look at what you're given and then go up to, um, in, in this case here I have just copied the double angle identities onto my paper here. So I go up here and see which one this either matches exactly or is close to. Well it matches exactly to this one right here. Um, and so that's the cosine of 2a, so that's the one I'm going to use. So the cosine of 2a is equal to 2 times the cosine squared of a minus 1. So the way to do this then is you say, um, so you notice that the double angle's on the left, the single angle's on the right, and your single angle is 75 degrees. So you say a is 75 degrees, therefore 2 times a, well that would be double that, and that would be 150 degrees. So now that I know what 2a is, I'm able to make a direct substitution here. So this then is equal to the cosine of 2a, and 2a in this particular case is 150, and you know the cosine of 150 is negative square root of 3 over 2. So there's your exact value. Um, let's do uh, another one, another example this here. Just give you an idea for how these work. Again, finding an exact value. Alright, so we're going to find the exact value of the cosine of 22 and a half degrees, cosine squared, minus sine squared, 22 and a half degrees. So go up here to your angles and you say, which one does it look most like or exactly like. Well, it looks exactly like this one. Um, no, and again, your double angle is on the left, your single angle is on the right. So in this case, I can say my single angle, A, is 22 and a half degrees. Therefore, 2 times A, well, that would be 2 times 22 and a half, that would be 45 degrees. So again, I could make a direct substitution. So now I know that the cosine of 2a, and my 2a is 45 degrees, and I know the cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Alright, so let's do another example. These are all kind of kind of quick here. And we're going to do one where it doesn't match exactly, but it's close, so you can see how that works. So we want to find the exact value of 4 times the sine of pi over 8 times the cosine of pi over 8. Alright, so I see that this doesn't match exactly anything, but it is pretty close to that one right there. Um, it's very, very close to that. The exception is this has a 2 in the front and you've got a 4. So just let me rewrite this as 2 times 2, which is 4, times the sine of pi over 8, times the cosine of pi over 8. Now I can see that this part right here matches exactly cosine of 2a. So let's go ahead and calculate our a, or find our a. Our a is pi over 8. So then 2a, well that's going to be 2 times pi over 8, which is pi over 4. Let's move up here to finish the problem. So now I can make a substitution. So the cosine of 2a, in this case here, that's the cosine, oops, I'm sorry, this is sine. Just did a couple examples with cosine, so I got that stuck. So that we have sine of 2a. So in this case here, that's the sine of pi over 4, but remember I've got this 2 in the front here. So this is really 2 times the sine of pi over 4. So that would be 2 times square root of 2 over 2. 
which reduces to square root of 2. So the exact value of that is square root of 2. Alright, one more example. And this again is similar to the one that we just did. It doesn't match exactly. You have to do a little manipulating in order to see that. Right, we want to find the exact value of exact value of 5 minus 10 times sine 3 pi over 8 squared. Alright, so I see that this looks uh, most closely to this one here, although not exactly. I got the sine squared, I've got a minus sign, but my identity is 1 minus 2, but I got a 5 minus 10. So look what I can do here. I can factor the 5 out of those two terms. So I'm left with 1 minus 2 of sine 3 pi over 8 squared. And now this piece right here exactly matches cosine of 2a. So let's figure out what a is. So a is 3 pi over 8. So then 2a, well that's going to be 2 times 3 pi over 8, which gives us 3 pi over 4. So the exact value of this is going to be 5 times the cosine of 3 pi over 4, because that's my 2a. So this is 5 times negative square root of 2 over 2, oops, which I can write as negative 5 times the square root of 2 over 2. And that's the exact value, and that's how you use double angle identities to find exact values.